Delighted to welcome one of the biggest names in uh, ladies football, Karen Carney, Birmingham City ladies and England. 50 caps, Karen. Yeah, no, it's great to be at the grassroots for, uh, show today, uh, promoting it. It's coming down uh, in a couple of weeks' time. Uh, it's going to be great. Hopefully get loads of people down. 20,000, I think, usually come down yeah. over the three days. So hopefully more people will come this time. Grassroots as well. I mean, you're a typical example of what grassroots can do because you started off just playing down the park. Yeah, I started playing down the park, um, using bags as goals, you know, everything, just playing in the road, playing in the street. Um, and that's where it starts. You know, you don't develop players within a year, you develop them over years. You know, Wayne Rooney, he played down the park yeah, and probably exactly. still does occasionally, yeah. but this is that's where it starts, grassroots, um, so it's really important. When did you realise you'd got a, a more than exceptional talent to play? Um, I don't think you even think that now, to be honest. I mean, if you think that, you're never going to go as far as you could yeah. do. But, you know, you do have some belief and some confidence that you are good. Um, probably noticed I was okay probably about 12 13 i thought um i can go somewhere with this i can play for england and i knew from from the age of 13 i'd play for england i knew i would uh, just i had that self-belief is it was it was it difficult in it because it's predominantly a, a man's world football yeah. how difficult has it been for for ladies trying to make their way it's been really difficult you know you think you make a breakthrough then you have a you take a massive step backwards and you know but the FA have launched a new Super League, which has changed a lot of perceptions, I think, um, and they've supported us and backed us and put us out there in the media and said, you know, and prom you know, promoted that football should be for women and for men, girls and for boys, and, you know, put equality out there. And I think now we're starting to make progress. People are respecting us. But at the beginning, it wasn't easy. It was tough, but, you know, you, you have thick skin and uh, you have supportive parents and supportive coaches who, who support you all the way. And, you know, now we've changed perceptions and hopefully we continue to do so. Have your coaches improved you? Yeah, uh, you know, I think them, I've had some fantastic coaches from the age of 11 upwards who believed in me. Yeah. But you have to listen to what they say of and course. trust what they say. And, and that's why I think I've improved. Is You're playing now in the summer, though, aren't you, women's football? Which is which I think is, is good because you're not going to compete with the men now, are you? We're creating our own identity away from the men and hopefully the you know Birmingham City fans are fantastic you know if you saw them at Wembley hopefully when the men's season ends they can come and support us in the summer you know and back us um, but it's about creating our own identity we don't play the same as men um, we play differently and people need to remember that and and you know we've gone into a summer league now we are different so we've, good yeah good luck Karen thank you and very thanks much. very much thank cheers, you Tom. bye bye cheers.